Hello and welcome back. So this afternoon I'm going to show you guys my afternoon coffee routine at work. Okay, as you can see, it uh, looks totally different here now. So I put my Rancheria Serbia at my coffee studio. This is my this is my office. I convert that to hold on a second. Guys can hear me better here. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Who's on, let's see, we got Dil DJ. Oh, welcome to the channel. Okay, welcome to the channel. We got Dave. Is that Dave? Okay, we got Dave here as well. So, so I just put my rental list. It's, it's been a while. I did a, a make video from my office. So, the live streaming here. So, this afternoon, I'm going to uh, make some coffee using Rancheria Julia Sylvia at work. And let's see, if you are new to the channel, uh, if you haven't seen my, you know what, let me give you guys a tour, okay? Tour of my shop. Hold on. So this is my office slash my coffee studio. I mean, this is like, kind of like ultimate, you know, uh, I don't want to say coffee den, but kind of like man cave slash my workspace here. I got my refrigerator what oh, okay at some point i have to unbox this too uh, i got this a scala plus a solace uh, coffee grinder from uh, sierra coffee gear this is very affordable entry-level coffee grinder so i'm planning on doing that soon and that's my pour over coffee machine so this is my soda stream so i can make actually soda using the soda stream machine my mother mini coffee grinder small refrigerator here so i have my milk inside all my coffees i got quite a few okay and i'm i'm using a uh, coffee uh let's say fellow atmos plus uh, this is an uncom uh, coffee canister as well uh works pretty good uh flare uh you know what maybe next week we're gonna do some more flare uh work with a more flare all my cups uh that's my uh let's see dripper from uh bottom so i'm gonna start uh give you a live demo on star uh maybe next week okay let's do that and i haven't done uh nano as well so we're gonna do some nano presso this not uh bridge that kit this is the pipa mocha i, I done a video a while ago works really good so i'm gonna show you guys in live streaming and uh, we done the mocha part already obviously french press so uh, and what else um, so at work i mostly use my uh acme cups and also the uh, rub and lime cups as well and let's see more cups obviously you know you know what main cave without large tv Okay, so I have TV over there. Okay, so again, so this one used to be my office. So I convert that to kind of like small studio. And that corner is my office right there. So that's where, so this is my server room. Obviously I have lots of computers over there. My server, uh, let's see here. This is a little messy, but that's my coffee roaster sitting right in that corner. Okay. And then here's my lobby area. That's my lobby to my computer shop. See, uh, pretty much it. This is kind of like, you know, one man show. That's outside. Yeah, pretty much it here. I got the so that's the Broadway. If you are new to Tucson, so that's the main uh, main street of in Fla I'm not in that Flax that but Broadway Street. So people walk in. Here's my shop here. So anyway, so this is it. So this is where uh, I work and uh, I make coffee. Okay, and sometimes I actually actually I make coffee every day. So. Uh, you know what, this afternoon I'm going to make, you know what, let's make some uh, small latte. 
Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's make some small latte. Hold on. Let me flip the angle. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, this is a fun place to work and make coffee, okay? I mean, if I'm not that busy, you know, fixing computers, I usually make coffee and make some videos. It's a lot of fun. All right. So I got uh, about 20 gram. I got, I'm using the, let's see, Good Brothers Coffee here, Uganda. Uh, the tasting note is what? Uh, raisin, fig, and cocoa. It's been warmed up for a while, last half an hour or so. Uh, PID, I set at 220 degree. By the way, big difference between Barista Pro, everything is piping hot, okay? So that's really hot. Obviously, warming tray is hot as well, so. Okay, so anyway, I convert my Mazar Mini into single dose. Okay. I mean, this is really fun, okay? I mean, this is some really enjoy coming to work every morning. I mean, so this is how I do it. This. I mean, if you guys are looking for like single dosing, uh, single dose coffee grinder, Mazar Mini is a very good candidate for that, okay? From here, I'm just gonna take the top out, top it. As you can see, some copy grinds in there. I'm just gonna use my little brush to take all the beans out. So it's about about 20 grams. So so that's what I've been using for my Rancho Serbia lately. Okay. So I'm just gonna give you a shot. Just. Okay, here we go. I mean, cup's been nice and warm, so I'm not gonna warm up here. Okay. Again, I mean, this is not the ideal setup, okay? I'm sitting down on my chair, but you know what? Someday, okay? Someday it'd be nice to get a actual studio, but meantime, I mean, this is perfect, okay? I'm really happy with my setup at work. Comes the grinder quality for Mazer. Not the same as, it's different. Let's put it that way, okay? So this is a flat burr grinder versus this, uh, my niche at home, that's Conacher. Since we are making latte this morning, actually, well, you know what, what time is it? It's about this afternoon. Uh, we're gonna be fine, as you can see, nicely, you know, distribute. This gonna be works pretty good. Okay, so now, let's lock it in. I think I'm gonna do one to two ratio. Again, the temperature has been said, having PID is lifesaver, okay? I'm really enjoying having PID there. All right, so let's give you guys a close look. Okay. Pre-infusion is done. Now here. Seems a little faster, okay? Yeah, seems a little fast. It's about 22 seconds, but you know what? Since we are making latte, so I'm okay with it. But meantime, with uh, since working with a single boiler, you need to turn on the steam. And uh, the temperature will go on, okay? So by the way, so we went up to 220 after like 30 seconds later, we just went down to around 200. So the temperature is a fluctuate for uh, Rancho Serbia. Okay. 
Get my. But again, make a big difference in the grinder setting. So this is a little bit too coarser. So if next time I'm gonna do, it's gonna be a little, a uh, little bit more finer. Okay. So I'm just gonna change it right now for tomorrow. Okay. But meantime, I got got my milk. I think I'm gonna do a couple pumps of caramel as well. Okay. So we're gonna do a caramel latte. Okay. So we are at around one. I think it's set at two eighty for. The temperature. Okay, I'm just gonna purge a little bit. Again, it's not an ideal setup, but that'll work. Okay, so now the light should go out pretty soon. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. The light's gonna go up. So now it's go up. So now we are uh, ready to stem, uh, stem the milk. I'm just gonna purge one more time. Okay. I'm just gonna get my wet paper towel ready because you, you might wanna wipe out the steam money as well right after this. Okay, here we go. Now, this is something I have to get used to because eventually uh, Sylvia, the steam power is a lot more powerful than Brista Pro or Brista Express. One matter of seconds, milk is done. Okay. And then what I need to do, I'm just going to wipe it clean. I'm just going to flush. All right, let's do some latte art here. I mean, again, the milk is really silky smooth. Okay, hopefully i show you guys some latte art. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Hopefully you guys can see it. By the way, my, I don't know, is the cup or milk, okay? My latte art has been getting better. I think I, think I have to give credit to, uh, this cup design is, uh, seems like a lot easier, okay, to put latte art in uh, with the Acme cups or uh, rough, uh, rough Lamy cups as well. Because they're round shape, I don't know. I mean, correct me, I'm wrong, but it seems a lot easier. To me all right so so this is how i make uh coffee at work and you know what cheers to all man fantastic okay they are really great it's a lot of fun to make oh uh, by the way so if you want to make another coffee with rancho Servia you have to cool down the temperature. Okay, right now we are 260. The best way to cool down the temperature, you just introduce uh, water to the boiler, okay, by hot water. The temperature is going down. So now, as you can see, boiler is going down, boiler temperature is going down, and uh, this light is starting coming on as well. So, so that's how uh, you make coffee with Rancho Servia. Uh, let's see, any questions this afternoon? Hold on. We, we got here, you got Andy a asking me. Okay, so and Andy's mentioned about, you know, he's playing on doing some more roasting. You know, I'm definitely doing a lot more roasting coming on uh, coming weeks for sure because it's nothing like freshly roasted coffee. But again, I mean, like Good Brothers or freshly roasted coffee from, from like local roaster, they're also fantastic as well. But if you want to save money, 
high, high quality coffee beans, definitely looking at uh, uh, home roasting. Okay, what, what else people are asking? Okay, so yep, so I'm using, uh, I'm using the 1600, uh, Beemore 1600, okay? So mine is really an older model. Uh, you can get one, one of those ones for like use market for around a couple hundred bucks, 200 bucks or so. The new ones are like around 450, but yeah, it's not bad. All right, we got Mike. Mike is on as well. Good. Anyway, so if you're watching this, I'm not going to do live tomorrow morning, but I'm going to be driving off to Flagstaff this weekend. So you may see me on the live off in Flagstaff. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun and pretty much it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon and uh, I'm going to, no, not tomorrow morning, but Friday morning. Okay. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. See you guys next time.